we've got to look at our box now and see where we've got to knock these little tabs out. So we look at that and we're only going to uh, take one tab out at the top because there's only one wire going up. There's three wires coming down. So I'm going to put one on the far left for this one and then the other two for these other two wires. So it does make a difference which tabs you do, okay? So um, look at that, make your decision, and go ahead and take your knockouts out and we're getting ready to slide these wires back into the box. We got the knockouts out. We start with the longest wire and put it in. Okay. And put in the next longest wire and so forth. And uh, just kind of go slow. Make sure you check and see what you're doing. Just gonna pull those wires in. Oh, you know what? I forgot something. Okay, before we put this box in, I want to make sure I have enough clearance right there. When this flaps up, there's got to be enough clearance so that that grabs on the back side of the sheetrock. So you might want to check your sheetrock because it might be 5 eighths instead of half inch. Or it might be some other thickness if you're stucco or whatever. Okay, Because if you're not checking this carefully, you might take this screw. And when, when you take the screw here... You have the flap down, and then we get ready to screw it. You, you go like that, and voila, it goes up. Now, as you start screwing it, this starts pulling in. And what could happen is, if you don't have this flap out far enough, it could go up about like that and stick, and you think it's all the way up. Then you tighten it, you tighten the screw down thinking you're tight, and all of a sudden, this isn't on the back side of your sheetrock. Okay? So you want to make sure you got plenty of gap here at both the top and that bottom screw. Okay? And there's a certain there's a definite little groove in this box too. Make sure it's in that groove so it wants to slide up, it doesn't want to slide out of that groove. Okay? So you can do that and I got 7/8 of an inch on that one. Push the screw in all the way there. I got seven eighths there, so I got plenty. Okay, now we're ready to put this box on. We can put that box on now. Make sure you put it through the right holes. So put the longest one in first, and then the next longest one. And uh, you're just going to take your time, fish those wires in there. Make sure they're coming out all right. That one's missing the ground. Okay, where is it? There it is. Okay, that one's coming. There we go. Okay, they're all coming through. You just have to kind of work it gently as you go. We know it's going to fit in there because we, we tried it dry fit first, remember? See, if this wouldn't fit in there, then you got to pull it all out and try it again. But here we got it this far. Push that in like that. And this wire has some cable, the, the cable around it. See the sheathing on the outside? You want to make sure you pull that through the box if it's long enough. And it should be because it was in the other box, remember? This one hasn't come out yet, so I got to wiggle it. There. Okay. See that? See the yellow sheathing? That happens to be yellow. Here we got white. Okay, so now that's in the box. That one's in the box. Got that there. That there. So far so good, huh? Now, you remember that screw there? You put that on there, and as you turn this up, you can imagine that flopping up on the back side of the sheetrock right there. Now you can start tightening that and it's starting to draw in on the back side right now. Okay. I just want to, I don't want to make it tight all the way. I feel that it's a little snug because see I want to have enough room to start sliding it around. Okay. Now I'm going to put 
this one in. Now that one is, is taking here and it's flopping down right there. And now it's being drawn in to the back side, okay? Just gonna make it snug first. Now I'm gonna look at this and um, I'm just gonna split the difference on here. Okay, and thing, the thing here, this is so close to the trim, I wanna try to keep that the same if I can. You know, we can adjust the light switches a little bit on the cover plate, but um, I think we're gonna split the difference. And uh, this has a slot in here too for a standard screwdriver. I like to use that at the end just because it's easier to tighten down. You can do it. You can do it with a Phillips too. Here's the Phillips. Okay. Just want to make it snug. You don't want to over tighten that. Okay. Look at that. That box. I got to push it over a little bit. So I'm going to loosen that up. Tap that over a little bit like that. Tighten this back up. There. That box is snug in there. There you go. Now I'm going to do that same thing on that exterior box now. We'll be back. I'll be back to you to show you how to wire this up.